Alright. Trying to get him down for a nap. So we're going to read our third book for the day. It's called The Dragonfly Door. Wow. Written by John Adams and illustrated by Barbara L. Gibson. There's the first yarn, yes. And it's okay if you don't see the pictures. They'll have my voice. Oh my God, the pictures are so beautiful. Let's see if we can get this. All right. It was a warm spring day in the marsh. Beetles and minnows darted through the reeds. Two small nymphs, Lee and Nim, zigzagged between the rocks and the water. I'm going to catch you, Nim said. Oh, no, you're not, Lee laughed. But Lee, being a year older, slowed down just enough for Nim to catch him. Tag, you're it, Nim squealed as she poked with one of her legs. Oh, look at that. The two friends stopped to rest on the smooth black rock. I have to play tag, especially with you. I love to play tag, especially with you, Nim said. Me too, Lee replied, but I'm getting tired. Let's go home. Nim was almost two years old. They was three. Both had hatched from tiny eggs like all water nymphs, so they never knew their parents. Their moms and dads had moved on after hiding the eggs in some reeds. Nymph and Lee had met in the water meadow. They soon became friends and decided to move in together. Their home was a small nest of leaves and twigs beneath the ledge of a rock. They played together every day. Afterwards, Lee being the oldest, always reminded them to shrub the mud from her legs. Remember, we don't want mud in the nest, she would say. And before you go outside again, would you straighten the leaves and twigs on your side of the bed? Sometimes 